Hello, this is Motorsport71, and I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to install the Left for Liberty version 2.0 mod. Uh, this will be the same for any version coming out, um, unless otherwise noted. Um, what it is, is it's a .NET mod, so what we need to do is, first of all, you're going to need uh, the most current uh, version of .NET script hook, uh, 1717 you're going to need an ASI loader and you're going to need script hook and you're going to need my mod now I already have them all lined up over here you also need to get uh, into your main folder uh, where you get into that and this is for GTA 4 is by going into uh, usually it's going to be in my computer C drive program files Rockstar games and then GTA 4. Ignore this folder. It has, uh, actually, I have this game installed four times on this computer, so um, this is the one I'm showing you it on. Anyway, and you'll actually come up with the same one I have here. So, anyway. First, what we're going to do is install the script hook. Now, very importantly, script hook, if you read the README, has a couple requirements. One is .NET Framework 4.0 has to be installed for this to work. If it's not installed uh, from the you know from this website, if you're not updated or this isn't installed, .NET Framework is not going to work, or uh, .NET Scripthook is not going to work. So you have to have that. Uh, the ASI loaders. He also gives you a list of them. Um, I use the X Live list. Um, I believe. This one is D sound, but I'm not sure. And uh, Alexander Blade, if I said this is D sound and it's not, and I offended you, I apologize. Anyway, make sure you read his README. Um, you know, go through it. Uh, make sure you have this updated. Whatever you need to do. Um, anyway, mine's all up to date, obviously. So what you're going to need is in this script hook file, you're going to need the transfer. You don't need the README but you need everything else. So just transfer the whole contents over into your main folder and just delete the readme. Since it was a zip folder it didn't actually delete it anyway, it just copied it. So now what you do is the scripts folder it actually brought over just open it up and there's a nice little note here, put your .NET scripts here and just delete these they don't need to be in there anymore. Now, your script hook, which is here, and your .NET script hook, and your scripts folder are now installed. So we open the scripts folder, and we open up my mod, and you'll want to copy the three zombie files, obviously you don't need the readme, and put those into the scripts folder. So all you need now is your ASI loader, which would be either X Liveless or D Sound. Now I don't use D Sound. Um, D Sound will allow you to play online. I use X Liveless. X Liveless does not allow online play. Um, X Liveless also moves your save files elsewhere. A lot of people, uh, some people just don't like it. I don't mind it, and I already have mine set up around it, so I'm going to use XLive. Um, you don't need to know what any of this is other than that's a debug, that's a readme, and that's a readme in Russian, so I don't read Russian. So now we have ASI loader, scripthook.net, scripthook, scripts. We should be good to go in theory. So let's go ahead and start up the game. Now, if all goes well, once I get to all the startup screen, which I have everything pretty much shut off, I should start out at my apartment in Bohan.
Okay, so here we are, game loaded. Hit the tilde, bam, the .NET script hook, or the .NET script hook, everything's working. The uh, uh, console for the .NET script hook came up. All the files loaded. I press F7, the mod came on. We are good to go. And on that note, hasta la vista.